Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin hasn't really given us any further clues since yesterday, unfortunately. So Bitcoin is holding above the support area I mentioned, but also <laughs> below resistance and below yesterday's low, uh, below yesterday's high. So there isn't really any additional price action that I can really work with other than a three wave increase from yesterday's low. So the situation remains actually unchanged, unfortunately. I know it is very repetitive, but it, it still is the case. I can't change the market, obviously. So it is, uh, it is corrective price behavior at the moment. The market still hasn't decided what it wants to do and maybe we'll see another boring weekend. I mean, the, the price is basically at the at the cusp of breaking out there, right? So we are below all these previous highs. You can see that here on the chart, all this, this is acting as resistance, this entire wall here. Okay, and then this as well, we slightly broke above it here on Monday, but failed. So there is clearly a resistance line that we could draw here. And that's just acting as resistance. And um, yeah, we need to break above this line, right? So that's quite obvious. Um, I like to call it just yesterday's high. Obviously, it needs to be a sustained break above this high. So this is the level of 71,580. I mean, again, it needs to be a sustained break above yesterday's high. Then we should be able to take this one out as well. It looks a bit like an inverse head and shoulders pattern, um, even though they are more like reversal patterns. This doesn't really look like a reversal, but still... Um, it, it, it is a level that if broken, I think can send us higher in the yellow scenario because we haven't broken below yesterday's low and we haven't broken below the orange support region. So I already mentioned yesterday in my last update that it looks more and more likely that we're going to follow the yellow count, but I'm very hesitant to commit clearly to one of these micro structure scenarios um, because we are below resistance and above support, offering no clear probabilities. That's also an important outcome from the analysis. Now, then you might say, why do the analysis at all? <laughs> it was quite obvious because we have very, very, very clear pivots to watch. Okay, so I did receive two, two or three comments yesterday and people said, okay, but um, the scenario, the, the scenarios are, are, are obviously not clear. Well, that's not true. The scenarios are very, very clear. There are only two scenarios on the chart and very clear pivots that distinguish between the two. So I mentioned to you very clearly that a break below yesterday's low, uh, which is here at 67,450 pretty much, will favor the white scenario, will support the white count. And if we then also see a break below 64,550, the white count is confirmed and sends us probably into the region around 60k. However, a break above yesterday's high, so let's just say above the green line here, 71,580, followed by a break above the Monday high at around 72,670, will clearly favor the yellow count. So we have to take them both seriously. Now, if that confuses you, I don't know, it's very clear because we have so such clear par um, parameters to watch. It's just that the price hasn't broken out yet. And then also, and that you shouldn't forget about that, the levels um oh, that's just the micro price action i mean that's literally just noise because what really matters is do we hold the main support area this is really relevant for our overall bullish scenario we technically have to give the price space to drop into the orange lower support area before a fifth wave can start and we know that this is likely going to happen if we get a break below yesterday's low i think that's very clear and then this is really what matters. The bulls need to turn up before we break below this lower orange support region. As long as this is bull market support. I mean, as long as we're holding that, we're in a bullish market. And there's a um, lot of clarity on the larger time frames. Not so much on the smaller ones at the moment, but that's completely normal in a correction. Okay, so if you're not so familiar with price structures, price action, it is typical corrective price behavior that we see here. I often say that anything within a correction is just noise. And it's not so much about knowing if it's going up or down. It's about knowing the levels that if broken, increase probabilities for either scenario. And also, do you have actually an answer what you want to do if the price goes up or down? And the analysis tells you very clearly that if the price goes down, we have a dip and a dip can be an opportunity. If the price goes up, well, we have quite a journey ahead of us, probably into the 90K region. So I think that is very, very clear. 
looking at the micro structure here since yesterday's low, nothing really uh, that is very um, nothing that is very clear. I mean, I offered you yesterday this micro. So we had this rally into resistance, which was expected after we had a five wave decline. Something you can interpret as five waves down at least. The rally landed in the resistance area. The price got rejected there, landed in the support area. And now, yeah, it's just sort of bouncing between the two, leaving us without clear evidence in which direction it wants to go. Um, so watch the support parameters also between 68.2 and 69.8k. They are really only relevant on the micro level. And um, yeah, you can see we have only three waves up from yesterday's low. Could very much be that this is an ABC structure, but without clear clear um, indication that we are on the way back into the support region. Yeah, and below below resistance, leaving us without clear confirmation. So we really need to see a break above the green line next in order to um, look at the next upside targets. And the next main upside target is 81K. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.